Uh, Stuart Kaplan is a former special agent with the FBI, and he's joining us live to continue talking about this case. I think, Stuart, where I begin is the reality is we don't know if a crime has been committed, but what we do know is Gabby is nowhere to be found. Her family is desperate to find her. How does the boyfriend's lack of cooperation impact this investigation and bringing her home? Well, it just delays the inevitable. I can tell you that this case will break as a result of old-fashioned police work coupled with technology. Now, look, uh, I'm now on the criminal defense side, and I'll put that hat on. Obviously, after discussing a situation with my client, I would probably tell him not to cooperate and keep his mouth shut. And obviously, it does and will and is frustrating law enforcement's efforts to solve this case. But let me be sure and clear, this case will be solved. It'll be solved more so because it is very difficult to travel anywhere within the United States and not be picked up on some sort of surveillance uh, video. Uh, it will take some time. It will be delayed, but the inevitable will come out. And my guess is that the apprehension of Brian will lead to his arrest and his culpability of obviously whatever unfortunately may have happened to this uh, young girl. And Stuart, I mean, we all understand the right to remain silent, the Fifth Amendment, but when someone does not cooperate so early in an investigation, the last person to potentially have seen her, people do have the hard time wrapping their mind around the fact that if you're not talking and she's still missing, you must have something to hide. Um, what is the advantage right now for him to keep quiet with her out there? Well, like I said, there's probably going to be very little advantage to him remaining silent because the reality is, as you know, all of us carry our phones, our iPhones, our uh, iPads, you know, whatever digital devices we have. And so the FBI, uh, who is working in concert with local law enforcement, will now already have uh, subpoenas issued uh, to basically connect the digital footprints of where he was and whether or not they can then pinpoint with a certain degree of accuracy to find video surveillance. And they're gonna work backwards. Like I said, it's gonna be old fashioned police work. But let me you know, just make everybody confident and, and rest assured, this case will be solved, no question about it. Um, it it's gonna take some time. And, and the most important thing I think that law enforcement wants to do is even though they're frustrated, they want to make sure that they don't rush to judgment because ultimately someone is going to be held accountable and ultimately someone's going to be prosecuted for whatever may have happened to Gabby. And they don't want to make any mistakes because you don't want to end up apprehending the wrong person mm. or rushing. And then all of a sudden that evidence to which may uh, incriminate someone is thrown out in a court of law. That's why I would advise law enforcement and they are doing it, exercising right. a degree of patience. You know, there is the other puzzle piece to all of this, that the couple was very publicly documenting their journey cross-country for months. So there is a, potentially a lot of evidence out there that could lead to clues to this. Um, how do you go about investigating all of these social media posts, not just from their cross-country trip, but previous posts to give you some indication of what may have been going on uh, with them leading up to her disappearance? Well, what they're going to do is they're forensically going to basically go back and review all of these social media postings. And and like I said, look, it doesn't take, you know, a lot of effort to identify where they may have been. And when they figure out with pinpoint accuracy where they may have been, they're going to send agents or local law enforcement out there to identify eyewitnesses to be able to put them in certain places. Once they're able to pinpoint where they were, they will, they will be able to retrieve video surveillance. And like I said, it will not take too long before there will be a slip up and a break in the case with respect to whether it's Brian or some other individual with respect to where uh, this girl may have been last seen or may have been where she's last seen alive. Timing is critical, as you know, every single moment that goes by. Stuart Kaplan, appreciate your insight on this. Thank you. My pleasure.